okay this is uh, where we left <coughs> last time so this becomes the first part of uh, lesson 7 okay so uh, in the last video there were certain things that were not exactly clear so I'm just going to go through them um, one more time so one of the things that was not clear um, was the ASCII character set that uh, I wanted to explain so what I really wanted to tell you was to show you this complete list of ASCII characters uh, that I have uh, you know sh shown you here so for 0 it's uh, 48 the character representation the number representation for 0 is 48 in the ASCII character set and uh, for 9 it's 57 so that's what I was actually trying to show you all through so I, I think you got it but I just wanted to show you again so and for uh, A capital A it's 65 and for Z it's 90 and for small a it's 97 and uh, small z it's 122 and then you have different numbers for uh, different other characters okay so the most whatever you use i have already showed you okay i think i just showed you the ascii characters now let's get on with the program uh, let me just brief you where we are in the program uh, one thing is we want this output okay this is the output we want for every character entered now now we are only concentrating on numbers so for example every number entered we want how many times uh, we have repeated the number by entering it many times okay so that this was the output we want so now we have a program uh, for uh, taking the input and for uh, deciding whether it's a number or not okay and what do we do when if it's a number very simple see if it's a number okay um uh, we have to okay if it's a number what we have to do is we have for example if zero is entered we have to increment the counter corresponding to zero okay so let's say for example right now the user has entered zero so i have to uh you know increment the counter corresponding to zero now just imagine this is the counter okay so all the counters are set to zero now so how do i increment it of zero plus plus so this is all i have to do so if the car if i have entered zero and the corresponding counter is number of cars of zero plus plus okay so if i have entered one it's this the corresponding counter I am going to increment so pretty much how I am going, going to increment for uh, all the numbers I have entered very simple ok I have to just do this so when I do this uh, for example when I enter 0 right 0 is represented as 48 so 48 minus uh, this character means 48 48 is 0 so when I enter uh, 1 this is 49 49 minus 48 is 1 so the corresponding counter gets incremented for 50 uh, it is 50 uh, sorry for 2 it is 50 50 here and 48 here and that's how I get 2 and that's the corresponding counter gets in incremented so this is so you know at the by the end of this program when we finish the while loop right uh, what will happen is every counter corresponding to the numbers right will have the corresponding uh, number of repetitions in it right so uh, let me just print it you will know it's it's very simple uh, to understand okay uh, I have just used an array and the corresponding counter I'm incrementing by using a simple logic C minus 0 0 character okay so let me just print uh, the output for you you will really understand what I mean printf and slash t and so uh, I also want you to actually take care uh, of the you know, presentation of the output as a, and I have already told you the reason for it okay less than 10 
so for every character okay i'm going to print a character first and then um, a tab and i'm going to print an integer okay and that will be every line okay so i'm going to print a slash n now for every uh, character what is the character i am printing i am printing uh, the character c okay and uh, what is the this thing i am printing the repetition is this see for example for every line right every line will include a character and its corresponding repetition every line in the output will include the character and its corresponding number of times it has repeated okay so that's how it look so i'm just trying to you know put the program in in a single screen so that it's visible to see okay so i think uh, this is uh, ready oh shit i think this is uh, ready okay now this program is almost ready uh, just a few glitches just lets me fix that see for example we used i we haven't declared i so let's just declare i okay then um, i'm printing a character and i'm printing c okay uh, i shouldn't be doing this actually you know i i think i really got confused here so i should actually be printing i and i sh uh, actually when i print i as a character right i'll be printing the zeroth character in ascii and i don't even know what that is okay the zeroth character in ascii uh, and then first character in ascii and second character in ascii that's what i don't want to do i want to print uh, the integer i okay so i think uh, the program is okay now so let me just compile it so i've stored it in character uh, manipulation 2.c i just compiled it okay and let me execute it okay now let me uh, enter uh, some integers 1 2 3 4 3 2 3 4 5 okay so and i press control d so as you see right 5 is 1 4 is 2 times 3 is 2 times 2 is 2 times or any one time okay you can verify it okay yeah, it is absolutely right okay so uh, so we have some sort of a bit complicated program um that is good <laughs> okay so one more uh, thing i would want to do is see for example right there are a lot of this uh, numerals which are the repetitions are zero i haven't entered at all i really don't want them uh, to be get printed so i don't want zero repetition numerals to be printed so and fixing that is extremely easy and it will improve our uh, program very much so i just want to print uh, fix that so was that uh, so i just say that if the repetition is zero don't print it that's all so that's what i'm trying to tell here okay if um, this thing is zero if the repetition is not zero print it but if the repetition is zero do not print it okay so but this is going to give me the output i desire but there's a alternative way of writing it which is much more elegant okay so see for example i think i have already mentioned uh, that any within either a uh, if loop or a while loop or this part of the for loop anything that comes there is a conditional expression and the result of a conditional expression is true if it if the value of the expression is greater than 0 and if the value of the expression inside that uh, conditional expression is zero it is false so this can be achieved like this also so even if i write just this it means this one not equal to zero okay so let me just compile it and see how it works into 3 4 3 see it works and it's pretty good but do you observe do you observe that there's a problem with the way things are displayed here so i have put characters here and repetition here the table is fine uh, but you know they should be moved here and they should be moved to the center 
ओके सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट डू दैट नाउ मे जस्ट फिक्स इट 